today. Hi right, guys, my name is Ryan. I'm going fishing. Here's what we got today. I'm vacationing with my family in Panama City Beach. In the last few days I've done some surf fishing. Did really well. Caught a bunch of pompano, bluefish, uh, my PB Spanish mackerel, um, whiting, catfish. So it's been good. But the last couple of days the gulf has been blown out. Double red flag, can't get in the water, can't cast out to the second bar, crazy waves, five ounce weights won't hold and it's just been crazy. So I made an hour and a half drive to the beautiful town of Port St. Joe and I'm out on a place called Cape San Blas and it's awesome. I literally have the bay right behind me and 50 yards, maybe 50 yards that way, I've got the Gulf of Mexico. So it's a state park, fisherman's paradise out here. And when I drove through Port St. Joe, uh, that's the calm side of the bay right now, there were a ton of kayak fishermen, ton of people out walking, and so I decided to drive out here, and this is the windy side, and it's probably going to kill my audio. However, uh, there's very few fishermen. So we're searching for redfish, trout, and flounder today. Hopefully we can catch some of those. And I'm sure we'll have some people walking along the, the short line, and if you ever want people to talk to you when you're out in a place like this, just carry a fishing pole. Everybody will stop you and talk to you and ask you questions. So I've already sunscreened up, and when we get out there, what we're going to try to do is we're going to walk in the sand and cast in the grass for our fish. And we've got to be really cognizant of stingrays. I'm sure we're going to see a ton of those, and shells and things like that. It's it's kind of like National Geographic out there. There's just an abundance of wildlife, so we have to be careful where we're walking. So. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but this is what we're throwing. Jig head, curly tail, both orange and white today. Maybe a Miradine, a Marilure Miradine. And we're just targeting these grass, walking in the sand and targeting the grass. Popping it like it's a shrimp. All right, this is the first for me. Lizard fish. I've never caught one before. Weird looking animal. Never caught a lizard fish before. There's one right there. He was following it, and I was watching him, twitched it, and he ate it. Funky looking dude. Lizard fish, see ya bud. There he goes. That's new for me. Guess that's my PB lizard fish. The huge stingray right in front of me. Damn near walked on him. Good thing I was looking. Poke him. Watch him go. Oh, there he's going right now. He, he knows I'm here. There he goes. There he goes. Damn near walked on him. That wouldn't have been good. Alright, looking for more. Here's another little guy. Another stingray. We're going to poke him. Watch this. Poke him. There he goes. <laughs> they don't like it when you poke them. Another stingray. Right at the end of my pole. Just wondered if you'd look at that lure. Yep, he's moving up on it. I don't want to catch him. Just want to see if he'll look at it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> so I, I like fishing over here because there's that's the calm side and there's always tons of people over there. Yeah. I drove through Port St. Joe today and there was, I mean, boats were stacked up, kayaks were stacked up, wade fishermen were stacked up. 
and you come over here and it's windy and nobody likes to fish in the wind so you get this area to yourself so how i do it is and, and there's a number of ways you can do it. a lot of people like shrimp some people throw out fish bites some people you know all i do is anywhere there's sand and grass and just walk around, pinch, pitch uh, like a mirror lure, mirror dean, soft curly tail, and let's see, last three days I've been here, I've caught, what all have I caught? Uh, trout, redfish, flounder, and a couple of scrub species. And that's it. Wow. So, yep, yep. Most people fish over there. Very few people come this way. And as you can see, there's all kinds of sand to wade out there. And you only need to wade out to here and just cast into the grass. That's all you got to do. And if they're hitting, they're going to hit. If you fish for an hour and a half and they're not hitting, go do something else. <laughs> I appreciate it. No trouble. Man, I've been working hard for you today. That's a big trout. Pig. Here, big one. Hold on, hold on. I'll let you go. Man, are you a tank? Look at you. Look at that sucker. Dang. came after look at that wow look at them teeth that's a big one thank you lord that's probably 26 inches there it goes all right guys i made it back to the vehicle so that's the end of my florida trip Mostly about family, a little bit about fishing. Full disclosure, this is the third time at my spot or at this spot this week, and I caught redfish day one, trout day one, flounder and trout day two, and today a lizard fish and a trout. So first two times I was here was great. Second time or third time was, you know, I worked really hard for that trout, but it was my PB trout. That was a big trout probably about 25 inches I'm tickled pink to catch it so uh, a little note about the gear I was using a seven foot medium Cabela's pack rod it's a three-piece rod comes in a little tube I don't know if Cabela's makes it anymore but it's great for for stuffing in the trunk of a car and uh, I talked a little bit about the lures that I was using today and as soon as I was out of orange lures curly tails 
uh, the fishing just slowed down. And uh, I went through a lot of orange curly tails today. Couldn't keep the little fish off of them. Couldn't keep them from biting off their tail. But that's part of the part of the I guess saltwater fishing experience. And uh, yeah. So anyway, it was. It's absolutely beautiful. It was probably 85 today. Breeze was a little strong, but man, I'm not going to complain. It's you know palm trees and sunshine. That's a good thing. So. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I put out content regularly. Please do so. Thanks. We'll see you next time.